Let's assume that the servlet we have is this one. This is the source code. It's a simple servlet that prints out to the screen the text Salam. We don't need the Java source code, so we can even delete it. We just need the Java bytecode. And because this class belongs to the package com.life, we have a folder named life within a folder named com. In order to deploy it, on Tomcat, we should first choose the web application in which we want to deploy it. We can create new one. We can also use the root web application that already exists. Within root, we can find the webinf folder and here we should create the folder classes. Within classes, we shall place the com folder, the one in which we can find life, in which we can find salam servlet. The next step would be to update the web.xml file, which is the descriptor file for the web application. Right click, selecting edit using notepad and this is the file we should update. We should add two element, two XML elements, one to define the new servlet and the other to define its mapping. This XML element defines the relationship between the servlet name salam servlet and the class com life salam servlet this xml element in fact says that the salam servlet its class is com dot life dot salam servlet uh, this xml element defines the url pattern we should use in order to get the salam servlet executed and get back the result it returns. Let's save it. And now let's try. As you can see, trying to access our Tomcat installation, appending the URL pattern associated with this specific servlet, returns us the Salam servlet result.